Playing from Splatter Plastic, gonna do a little bit of an unboxing because let's be honest, it's the only thing we can do nowadays. Content's gone down the pan a little bit because we can't get together because all these local lockdowns. So sorry, fiends, this is kind of the best we can do. Um, everything stopped apart from the post. So that being said, you're feeling sexy. Stick some candles on. Put some scented candles. Get a nice lush bath going. Uh, a little bit of rose petals, some nice music in the background because I just got the soundtrack to one of the sexiest movies you're ever going to see Necromantic Oh, what a nasty ass piece of fucking celluloid this is It's horrific, if you haven't seen Necromantic It was done in 1987 by the director Jorg Buttergrit Completely butchering his name, I know this and um, score is by uh, Dactar Lorenz, Herman Klopp, and some dude called John Boy Walton. Um, Haunting, Haunting, Ugh, goes with the, the, the movie perfectly. So if you haven't seen it, um, it's about this dude, um, obsessed by corpses. Ends up like robbing bits of corpses, bringing them back to, to his apartment. Finally meets this, this, this girl. Uh, she also likes corpses. So we next one, full corpse, brings it back to the apartment. They get it on. She buggers off with the corpse randomly. And um he ends up in the bath like that. There's a scene in it where they're having a little menage a trois with their said corpsicle and it's probably the most sickening thing I've ever seen. That they're having this bit and they're getting it on and they're passing sucking this eyeball out of this corpse's eye. And they're just passing it between them and there's all slime and shit and putrescent. Ugh, horrible, horrible dirty, horrible movie. Come back for the second one as well, so there's Necromantic too. If you haven't got enough of it in the first one, go and check out the second one, because that's just equally as sick. But the score itself, haunting, man. Absolutely. It, 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 it's, it's yeah, it just gives you maggots under your skin. Um, so this was put out by One Way Static, if memory serves. Yeah, and this is the limited version of it. Um, it's limited to 500 copies, so I was lucky enough to snag number 41. You're never going to pick that up. So it's 41 out of 500. So front cover, nice and glossy. Really like that. Back cover. And um, if the kids are around, get them out. The dog hates this. Um, if you're in work, knock your monitor down a little bit. And if you're on the bus, please make sure that nobody's looking at your phone at this moment in time. Because the gatefold is necromantic porn. Um, so you can see it there. And if you can look closely, they one point in the film they get like a wooden wooden chair leg, stick a Johnny on it or the condom, ram it into the corpse, and she goes at it like the clappers. So um yeah, there's a little corpse, there's a little corpse boner, and there she is looking all entranced by um a wooden leg shoved into a corpse. Twisted man, twisted movie. Um, so let's get a, have a little bit of a look what we get in this package because you get a fair fair bit in it. So you get. This amazing little art card, which I don't know if you're going to pick it up, but I'll try and get my finger there. It's done like a little seven inch, it's done like a record, and it's all embossed to make it look like the record. It's cool, man. It's the original um, original artwork for the movie on it as well. Unfilmed Ubezun Menschen und was von und. I can't even, I don't know what it says, but it's German. Um, you get liner notes by all involved. Really nice. You also get. I'm not a fan of these, but um, some people are. Little seven inch. So you got Necromantic on one side and the Necromantic logo on that side. I'd love to have that on a t-shirt, man. That's pretty cool. Not that I really want to be walking around with a t-shirt that says Necromantic on it, but you get what I mean. It's a nice little image. Finally, you get, obviously, the record. So this record is... A glorious piece of splattered vinyl. In labels, Necromantic, one we start with logo, one side's got the cemetery on it. If you go and pick that up. And the other side has got, um, if you've seen the movie, it's just like a little field. That's where they find the corpse. You know, obviously in Berlin, there's corpses just hanging around all over the place. I don't know. i never seen them. It's like the two times that I've been there. Didn't see a corpse once. This guy's finding them all over the place. Um, really, really nice. So it's red, black, and kind of like an opaque clear vinyl. Yeah, man. If you can, uh, if you can pick this up, do because it's I got it for pretty much a steal on a flea bag. But 
can pick it up though. It's uh, a really nice record, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's um, that's me showing off Necromantic. Just want to talk about some other things as well, to be honest with you. So we're all thinking it. We're all, you know, we know about lockdown. But it's really starting to balls us up, to be honest with you, because we can't get together. You know, Tom's living where he's living. I'm living here. We can't get together and do episodes properly. So we put our tiny little minds together. Um, we're thinking about working on something else just to tide us over. Because um, obviously we like to do Halloween episodes. Halloween's not happening this year, but we're still going to do a Halloween episode and kind of the retrospective because let's be honest, every day is Halloween around here. We are doing a guest bet on Geeks Destroy and Conquer podcast. I'm really looking forward to that. Some of my our mates on there doing that. If you haven't checked them out, please do. They cover all sorts of crazy nerd stuff. It's really good. I'm now pleased to say that we're also getting sponsored by Hell on Shirts. Hell on Shirts, if you don't know, we've been wearing their shit for ages and singing the praises since basically day one. Um, and yeah, we're, we're finally getting sponsored by them, which is amazing. So you need to check them out too. Um, when you do, have a look at their official merchandise that they're putting out so they've been through a little bit of a tumultuous time over the last couple of years some rat like sold them out and got thrown by customs started off just to to just just two normal people just starting off this like business and uh, some rat just come along and done them over but they come back stronger and how they've come back stronger so they've got an official merch coming out from return of the living dead they've got official merch coming out from reanimator awesome awesome designs and they've got a, another little official thing coming out that we've seen but you haven't and oh my god it's one of the best shirts i've ever seen in my life so um yeah keep an eye on hell on shirts because they always bring good shit um so hopefully all this lockdown will be over soon we'll be able to get back and do an episode but honestly i don't know if it's gonna be um so until then stay tuned don't stay sick fuck covid and sp out <laughs>